problems and I'm blaming them all on fall. Number one, the lighting is really rough and that's because fall decides to be really gloomy all the time. Number two, I'm really cold. Thank you fall. Number three, my hair looks absolutely awful and that's because it's been super rainy and when it gets rainy my hair gets puffy. So thank you Autumn for just hating me. Oh yeah. Hey guys, my name is Sydney. Sorry for the little rant. I'm actually really excited for this video because it's kind of like a DIY fall inspiration. So although all of us may not love fall as much as it seems we do, we can at least get into the fall spirit and get through fall together and wait until the next summer. That's what I'll be doing anyways. I've put in DIY room decor, some outfit ideas, a DIY drink, all that kind of stuff into this video. And basically I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, I've had a really fun time filming this video besides the fact that the lighting hates me. Let's get started. I have two room decor pieces featured in this video. The first being the one that I'm showing you guys right now, which is this DIY twig letter. And what you're going to need to create this DIY is a letter, which I got mine from Michaels for like less than $5, and then some twigs that I just found out in my backyard, and some hot glue. For each twig, I would start off by taking the stick and placing it against the letter to measure how much I needed, and then I would just snap off the excess and secure it down with some hot glue. Continue to repeat the process I just showed you until you reach the bottom of your letter. Although this DIY may be a little time consuming, I really like it because you're literally bringing a nature element into your room. If there's a little bit of wood sticking off of the letter, you can just go through with some scissors and clean that up. So that was how to make a unique and cute letter, and now moving on to the DIY candle sweater. That rhymed. The materials needed for this DIY are a candle, which mine's actually a winter candle, but we can keep that on the down low, as well as a scarf. Mine is from when I was like five, so clearly I don't wear it anymore. Some scissors and hot glue. If your scarf has pom-poms or something on the end, like mine did, you're just going to want to cut that off. Once you've done that, just take your scarf and measure it against the candle so you can see how much of the scarf you're actually going to need. Now just cut off the extra material that won't fit on the candle, and then take your hot glue gun and place some of that all over the edge. Push down on the hot glue to seal it, and then place your candle inside. And that's pretty much it. This DIY is super easy, and I seriously love it because you can move it on different candles, and I just think it looks super nice. And now onto the outfit section of the video. For my first outfit, I'm wearing this white top, which is super adorable. It is from Anthropology, and I absolutely love the design that it has on the neckline and the shoulders. And I paired the shirt with some super comfy maroon jeans, which are from American Eagle. My white low-rise converse went perfectly with this outfit, so I just decided to wear those, and I also wore my clear low-kai bracelet. I love this outfit because it's definitely my style and gives the subtle hint of fall with the maroon jeans while keeping everything else simple. The second outfit is a bit more edgy, for the lack of better words, but I really do like it because it is super comfortable for fall, and I really love the jacket with the ripped jeans. Put your arms around me. Speaking of which, the jacket is actually from a random store in Paris that my mom got whenever she went there, and the ripped jeans are from American Eagle, and I'm absolutely obsessed with them. Just put your arms around me, tell me And on my feet, I'm wearing these random black knockoff bands. Uh, you won't see me fall. Oh, oh. 
And now onto this DIY mug, which reminds me of something that you would see at Anthropology. And all you're going to need is a ceramic mug as well as a Sharpie in whatever color you want. All you have to do for this DIY is draw on whatever you want. I just went with some big gold polka dots. And if you mess up, it's super convenient because you can just take a wet paper towel and wipe that right off and restart. After you've finished your design, just put that on a cookie sheet in the oven at 350 degrees and let it bake for 30 minutes. And now that we've got ourselves a mug, I thought that it was only appropriate to do a DIY fall drink. To make the s'mores hot chocolate, you're going to need marshmallows, graham crackers, a hot chocolate mix or your own recipe, milk, and optionally some marshmallow fluff and chocolate syrup. So the first step is to just basically make the hot chocolate and follow whatever recipe you have. So I just heated up my milk and while I was doing that I decided that it would be productive to go ahead and crush the graham crackers. So I put those in a plastic bag and just took the back of a spoon and kind of crunch them all up. So here I kind of messed up because you're supposed to mix the hot chocolate after you dip the rim in graham crackers but you'll see I fixed that later. Anyways just cover the rim of your mug with the fluff and nutter and then dip that in graham crackers so that it will stick. And to top it all off just add some marshmallows and drizzle over some chocolate syrup. I hope you guys enjoyed at least some part of this video. If you did enjoy it at all, be sure to give it a thumbs up. I love you all so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!